anyways, we're on to part four. Well, episode four, which, yeah, it's the last episode, I think, because afterwards they pull out the trailer. Yeah, usually with reaction videos, I'm not good with reaction videos at all, but I feel like this one's done a little bit better than, um, well, most of them. Yeah, we're still we're still working on some stuff, but uh, hopefully by next year I have all of this sorted out. Because I actually do want to get, um, I do want to have most of my videos with the webcam on from now on. Uh, but I just still got to work on a few bits. Anyway, episode 4, here we go. Oh, now it's really, it's really good down here. Yeah. Alright, there was a bug at like 16 seconds in. Remember that. Oh, wow, you can't, you can barely even make out what they're saying. Need a hit? Do you know that? I really like the voice acting in this. Even though the fight, the, like even though the entire audio is corrupt and stuff, and there's more glitches. 51. Oh, there's tons now. I think some of them are just regular glitches, but some of them actually contain images of stuff. Oh, there's so many. Oh, it's are you having fun yet? Um. Do you know I don't think I am anymore? This is starting to get like really weird. See, this is why I will never Right. This is why I'm never ever gonna buy VHSs anymore. Because YouTube This is what happens when you watch horror videos on YouTube or just FNAF videos on YouTube. Suddenly you go from saying, Oh, I really wish I could go to Chuck E. Cheese to Oh, I don't wanna go to Chuck E. Cheese at all, I wanna be at least a thousand a uh, thousand miles away from it. And same with VHS tapes. You go from, oh, it's pretty cool. It's a VHS tape of an old movie to, nah, this thing's cursed. So, thanks. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate YouTube. All right, we're going to go back. About 16 seconds in, I said there was one. Here we go. Um, Right. So, I, I, what I can make out, this is a girl with, like, green, yellow eye. Uh, Green and yellow, right? They're kind of like yellow, but anyway. So you can clearly tell this meant to be a person, or at least replicating a person. Um, then like, who could this be, though? That's the thing. I think we know what Gregory looks like already, and I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's Vanny, like under. No, because it'd be rainbow hair. I don't know. Oh, hang on a second. Every time Bonnie glitches, he changes his glitch, glitch rate colours in the glitch zones. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's another thing I noticed. See? Yeah, and like the glitched bits, he goes like purple. I can see that. Yeah, but that might, that might be just a coincidence, though. At the same time, because when you think about it, no. Because you've got purple here, but you've also got yellow here. They've clearly done that for a specific reason. They wouldn't just have it glitch out purple and yellow. I mean, actually, no. If you're talking about VHSs, sometimes it, when they glitch, it often is just blue and yellow. But I'm just saying, you know, judging by what purple means in the FNAF uh, your law, you know, purple guy, glitch trap. You know, along with yellow with it, that probably should be taken as a hint for someone else. And then we got this. Oh no, I think it's supposed. To, I think it's trying to say like it's fixing up to a release date or so. I don't know. No, because the numbers don't make sense. I'm trying to just think of what the numbers could mean. It's also 21, so maybe this is a date because you know most dates have six digits in them. Well, at least in the later half of the year, because once you get past uh, 10, which is October, yeah. So maybe this is saying, like, um, it's the year 20, 2021 it will come out, but the date itself is still unknown. Or, well, they're not going to tell you just yet, kind of thing. Obviously, we know now when it comes out, but not at the time of this episode, so... There was a lot hidden in these VHS tapes. This I actually 
really appreciate that that there's so much hidden in the tapes um some things flew over some people's heads and some things didn't for me i don't think any f i missed out much comment down below if i did though because i will go back and check it out yeah so this guy is kind of saying what i'm saying notice that all the numbers ember 21 and they kind of follow like an american dates so um this for example would be november the 18th 2021 kind of thing and you can see if you go through here once it hits 21 it starts to go if you count it as american dates it mostly makes sense all in all though i really did appreciate these four tapes i loved reacting to them um that's also still well they did an amazing amazing job with these do you know it's very um rare that when an indie horror game is about to come out i get as hyped as what i did with security breach because with security breach it's more of a they build it up you know they don't drop like one trailer and then go yeah here you go they give little hints at gameplay and they get like little secrets so it's not just watching it and just looking at the basic stuff if you go like further into it and you start like pausing at certain spots or brightening up you find little hints and secrets and clues and it's really engaging it's really fun um and that's what i love about fnaf trailers especially like the newer trailers when they contain little hints and stuff like that and in the source code there might be something it's it's really fun guys hope you enjoyed this video subscribe for more I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.